do you believe in good luck, bad luck, or do you believe that is that everything is about working towards what you want and overcoming your fears? I believe less and less in good luck or bad luck, or I think I would say I don't believe in that anymore. Um, you never know if something is good or bad. Things are neutral. It's it only depends on how you look at them, how you interpret it, interpret them, to to make them work for you or not. So I'm on the practice of trying to see that everything that happens is in my favor. That's why I was saying, I think I was saying, that I don't believe in mistakes or I don't believe in um, bad choices. The choice is the choice you make. That's it. That's the right choice you made at that moment in your life. Maybe the outcome, it's not the one you wanted, but maybe it opens you different ways to explore. So why would that be bad luck? And about good luck, I wanted to to talk to you about my experience with the um, with the Christmas market. I already said something about that in the in the Spanish video that I uploaded the, the last uh, a couple of days ago. But uh, in this video, I'm gonna try to to have a different look on it. Um, maybe some people said, "Oh, how lucky you are because you you could be in the in the Christmas market." And as I could say, well, mm, lucky, mm, maybe you could consider that luck. But after that, behind that, I mean, if, if you if you under if you understand Spanish, please go to see the the video of two days ago because I explain all the fears I had to overcome to talk to people to ask about the the market. A place if I could be there even if it was only like five days left of it um, daring to go to the printer and dealing with him if he could have the prints done by the by the day the time I needed them uh, and and yeah I had to I had I had to work on it I had to create more things as well uh, I had to get everything ready that I wanted to have in that market maybe you could consider it like I just consider it well work like uh, I'm always talking these days about this sentence of, of Robert Louis Stevenson the one that wrote the treasure island and where he said don't concentrate on what you are uh, getting every day but on what you are planting on the way you want to follow and I just considered I planted lots of seeds and now I just got my reward of course like it happened that somebody cancelled and I could be in the market, okay? Maybe you can call that good luck, but I had contacted that person. I had tried to get some print ready, some print, some, some other works work done before, even if I knew if I was going to be able to, go to, to have a place in the market or not. I was doing the work before that, so... And I also wanted to to tell you um, about a client that I had one when I when I was doing these coaching se sessions. Uh, she considered herself like a lucky person. Everybody said that she was a lucky person, and uh, but but even believing that she was having troubles with some some objectives that she that she wanted to to wanted to to achieve, and at the end asking these coaching questions, you know, coaching is about asking all the time, but what do you think you're lucky? Why, why do you consider that? Why do people think you, you, you are lucky? At the end, she realized that after everything she called luck, she had put so much work on it, so she realized, oh my gosh, well, good that she could consider herself lucky to try some things and just believe that they would happen the way she wanted, but super good to know also that it was her power to have that luck. If she worked on it, if she worked on the way to the objective she wanted, she got it. So let's don't put the things like in I'm lucky, I'm not lucky. Put this, this like the power outside of us. We have so much power. And you can realize about that because when, when you are super convinced about getting something, 
then it's like your mind is set to see lots of possibilities to get that. It's like you get yeah, more open-minded, you see chances everywhere. And we are so creative. We have to practice that also, but we can see options in so many things that maybe we wouldn't think about at the, at the beginning, at the first, in, in, a, in the usual way. Maybe we think we have to follow. But sometimes these bad luck moments when things don't come out like we want to make us, help us to think in a different way to get where we want. And then we create our own luck. So tell me, tell me in the comments if you if you felt like this before or if you believe in luck or not luck. Oh, I have a friend also that um, she hates because she's super conscious, no? So she hates that people call her lucky. For example, when she when she says she's living in the countryside and she has a big house with a lot with a lot of space, and uh, some people say, "Oh, how lucky you are!" She says, "No, I'm not lucky. I've been working to have this. I've been looking around and I've made choices." So, what's your choice? Do you want to work on your own luck? Tell me about it. See you.